Hey guys, Rock Music Lover ninety three here. And Seagraph. Well, I know that's a one way street. <laughs> yep. And uh, first of all, um, we got our matching shirts. We got Sex Pistol shirts from um, Hot Topic. Yeah. That we got in the mall. Yeah, we went mall shopping um today or a trip. So. And I'm sorry that, um, that I look fucking disgusting here. My makeup and my hair, because it's just, I just got out from a pouring rain. I look disgusting. Not yet. Yes, but you've been driving a brand new freaking car. Oh, no. Yeah, but you don't look disgusting. It was only me. With heated seats and, with heated seats and, and my own music and my phone fully charged. Ah. <sighs> Must be nice. <laughs> All thanks to me when I bring my um, dual charger for charging your phone. True. But you've been driving a new car with heated seats and a heated back and and a chair with good back support and and heated seats and a heated back. Yeah. Is this really necessary? All this stuff in the car. Is it necessary for me to drink my own urine? I think. I do it often because it's sterile and I like the taste. Oh God! <laughs> I'm only kidding. I know you're. I know you're making a joke. I know you're kidding, babe. Anyway, we're t now we're finally gonna talk about um, the story that um, that we mentioned before. First, we talked about Matt's bullying um, experiences, our experience with autism, and now Matt's anxiety. Don't mind the noise. My mom is watching um, a story about Queen, about King England. Yeah, yeah. If you, in case you hear the background noise. Um... Sorry, I think it's Queen Victoria. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not really <laughs> sure. Matt doesn't really remember exactly when he started having anxiety or when he suffered from anxiety. Well, mostly I do it when anything, when every. I really hate conflict with my anxiety, and usually I hate conflict situations. Yeah, and this is something just basically to the people who, um, facts that you don't know um, about Matt Seagriff, um, like, um, about his anxieties and, um, if you don't know how, how sensitive he really is, so, um, so basically for Matt, he'll tell you guys a story, um, about uh, what happened, like, you know, certain things that, um, that he's, you know, how he gets nervous and how much he worries so much. Yes, but I don't abuse, but I don't abuse drugs to fight the anxiety away. I don't do that shit anymore. Well, we know Matt's smart for doing for not doing drugs because it's bad. Yes, actually, I um, had a painkiller for a tooth once. Yes, but that was but that was a really deep cavity. Don't ask me how it got so deep, I don't know. Yeah, like, um, one but of Matt's... In 2013, I know to brush from left to right instead of front to back. Yeah, with him brushing... Sometimes with Matt brushing his teeth, there's some things that he missed a spot or whatever. He, there are things that he forgot, you know, certain parts for, for him brushing his teeth. I didn't really think of that back, back in those days. <laughs> well, yeah, but... But I was in my... 20s and early teens and had no experience with independence back in those days. <laughs> and do an apo you know, apologizing, you know, when, when, you know, for one of the parts when you just, just looking at Matt's mouth and in case his teeth looks, some. Um, if you thought his teeth looks disgusting, um, I, no, it's, it's because it's got it from coffee stains. He drinks coffee a lot. Yes. That's why his teeth looks yellow. And just to know he did brush he did brush his teeth. Guys, so um if you find his teeth disgusting, I'm sorry. But I don't find his teeth disgusting or whatever. Maybe I should just get struck by lightning. Would that make you feel any better? That's okay. Anyway, back to um of his um as symptoms of anxiety. Well, basically my anxiety has to do with with usually 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 stuff that happened with drama, and sometimes stuff that happened on Facebook. Usually people starting drama on Facebook and starting drama in real life. Yeah, nobody wants to hear the drama, like, you know, blaming each other or whenever there's arguments going on. Yeah, I'm definitely with you there. 
sometimes I usually um, sometimes I usually do panic and bow and and Robin a ball in a corner. Yeah, I I can see what's going on, and yeah, it's like and and I think it shows um how um how um that sensitivity when um then you know understand. And I can see why he he doesn't like being yelled at. He doesn't like people are like. My supervisor called my supervisor called Michelle after just me crying. He did. Yeah, what a bitch. Yeah, what a bitch indeed. What does the supervisor do to you to make you cry? First, she told me that we can't mix pre-vote people in with non-pre-vote people, and then I start to cry. Hmm. That's terrible. Hmm. And then start to cry. Yeah, there are certain, you know, how, um, how we're about some sensitivity and how, um, he, he, he could cry easily on certain things. And also, I had a shitty cold that day, and also, I had a shitty cold that day, and I had a, um, a, a tooth, I'm... Uh, I had to get a root canal that I had to fill in my tooth eventually. It's probably going to hurt, but it didn't hurt one bit. Which is a good thing that you didn't feel the pain. Yes. And now, if you look on the left, I don't look like Lucky's boyfriend. Like Luan's boyfriend from King of the Hill. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry if um, the quality from, you know, on my end doesn't see too good. Um, because, um... I'm just not used to um, Skype's new um, update. True. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, guys. Yeah, but Zigger still can't get the the David Bowie Starman stuck in his head. Mm-hmm. So, um, now about um, your anxiety. Um, I know there's one of them that um, that um, has to do with your ex-girlfriend's you know, deal with it's very difficult when they're just, you know, being a pain. Usually when they start drama. Usually when they fell down the escalators with their humongous heels, I hope they're not all right. <laughs> oh shit. I broke your hip. <laughs> oh shit. Especially the girl that you know um for a long time and goes to school with you, Allison Pascarella is one of them. Yes. But thank God you don't you don't date that bitch because um She'll, um, she'll go, she's just not. she's totally nuts when it comes to relationships. My program, my program actually, my, uh, school, I'll never forget, my school, I'll never forget this. They actually gave me money for, for my behavior back in those days. They gave me money and a certificate for most improved of my behavior. And then tell them my supervisor will take me to the mall. Okay. To spend the money. Yeah. Is that a, is that a what a bitch? What a bitch. And another, um, any examples, some um, other things about them that has to do with your anxiety? Mostly, mostly people's anger and usually people's drama. Oh yeah, when people are like, have, have tempers there. Sometimes in program, I get really bad anxiety, so I just stay in the clerical. When people have, like, you know, started, you know, getting really angry and violent, then they're, you know... Usually, like, usually hissy fits. And, and when how loud they were when they scream like that, it's like, does it really hurt your ears for, you know, when people yell? Yes. Sometimes I do the good doctor and do this. Um, like, calm down. I'm like, what is their, what is your problem? Just, you know, just gotta chill out with the, it was with the funny. anger. It was funny when Matt was banging his head when he wanted to go to guitar instead of going to a dance and just said, I want to be treated like an adult. I want to be treated like an adult. I want to be treated like an adult. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, so that's one of them, you know, when people are, like, having tempers and whatever. It's, yeah, it does bother me, too. Like, uh... And usually when some people are talking, usually on Facebook sometimes. Yeah, whenever there's drama going on, basically. It's like... Yeah. yeah. Actually, no. 
my Amazon, I was rolling up in a nice new car that me and my mom were driving. Mm-hmm. Heated Sometimes... seats, heated seats, uh, air conditioner, I could listen to my own music whenever I wanted to. Yeah, I mean, it's your choice. I mean, you got awesome music, Matt. Yeah. And I will say this, and revealing it um, right now, um, I do show some symptoms of anxiety as well when I um, when I don't like um, people are like so harsh to me and um, people are, like yelling at me like sometimes whenever there's fights going on like my my mom yells at me sometimes. like when I ran into my like when I ran into my uh, <laughs> like when I ran into my job coach I actually didn't really have any anxiety. No, we just bumped into each other. And you know, I can cry easily when I got yelled at. I was, uh, the reason why I was making that voice, I went, Hi, Mike! I was making that voice, at least if I was getting anxiety. Well, just want to say, because um, it's really cool to see them again. I'm like, yeah. I think I was, I, I was doing a... Think about baseball. Think about rock bands. Think about dead puppies if you have to. Yeah. Think about Tommy Lee Gifford. How would you feel when, when um, someone yelled at you? I literally start to cry almost. I don't blame you because I I cried easily as well. It's like, it's like it's being like, being tormented or something. Yeah. I was breaking down in tears easily when it's like having a nervous breakdown, and I could see why um, Matt's showing a symptoms of anxiety, you know, because there are times that um, Matt had a nervous breakdown. Yes. But you didn't have that very often. Like, um, it's like, you know, I was, like, beginning to worry. It's like... No. Yeah. But I'm glad everything turned out good and nothing bad things happened. No, I'll just get some sleep tonight and I should be good. Yep. But we definitely have a good day today. I think I woke up. I think I stayed up until 11 watching a video on a bus fight. That would give me anxiety if if the bus would would resort to hitting like when I was in Devonshire. Usually getting whacked on the bus would be a term of anxiety. But what are the chances of that? Because that doesn't usually happen all the time. Yeah. And I guess there will be like... um. Except for... Much- Except for when I was going to work and there was this really hot girl looking. There was this really hot girl staring at me from the cro- from the seat across and we were both looking at each other. And you can see why, you know, when Matt's um, making those faces, you know, when it comes to, And when we did um, the message video on um, Nikki um, back in April, when he makes those faces, like, he looked like he's scared. Like this? Yes, you could tell look like he's scared or something. I was actually doing the nerd that face. <laughs> so that's why you doing this. <laughs> I was trying to make the nerd face. <laughs> okay. I was trying to make the nerd face at least. That's a good thing if you try to do that. This is part of him being a fan of Angry Video Game Nerd. Like, when, when there's a really bad day... With my dad and program, I just went and I said, "You know, it's Friday the 13th today," and I just went, "Don't kill me!" Justin Bieber's album and headphones, kill me now! Oh God! Now, um, to those people who also have anxiety, really bad anxiety, like Matt, um, do you have any advice to these people, Matt? You should actually just learn. You could do what I do, and and. And actually get some new hobbies or get some new hobbies to get distracted or at least pick up a fidget spinner like me. If you people still have the fidget spinners, it'll help you relieve the stress. Like, there are things that Matt can get stressed out easily about what happened. And it's, oh yeah, that's one more thing that we and forgot turned, about part of his anxiety. And I actually turned to music. Yeah, but playing some music actually helps, you know, whenever... I, I downloaded this an old album called The Cure. And there are um a part No, of... sorry, cult. I get the sometimes I get the cure and the cult mixed up. And since... they're like the same name. 
since Johnny um made since Johnny Star made a video about depression, d yeah, there are some parts that um Matt shown some depression sometimes. To be fair, Sam, I thought the girl would at least follow me to will at least follow me into my job and like is the girl from the boss. Mm. Like the moon. Does she even work here or not? No, she was just staring at me, and and then I stared at her. That was strange. Is she from my dad's family? What the hell? Yeah, this is why, you know, Mac can get worried and sometimes get scared of things. It's part of his anxiety there, too. Yes, but... But usually... But... But I have the standards that I should never really hit a woman, even if she's driving me nuts. So I just left after that. I think it's pretty much done about the story about anxiety again, um, to these people who have... And usually, and usually when music plays and usually there's another person on the other end of the music, then it would usually give me anxiety. Yeah. Usually if they just say they're not looking forward to work today, at least when they're listening to my Spotify, <laughs> that'd be funny. And this is how, this is one of them you get to know Matt that, um, for having anxiety, like, words. Then there are, and yeah, and there are things I have to say to these people. Don't scream at Matt. Don't to ever yell at him, don't ever say anything mean or harsh things to him for no reason. It's not right. I mean, he's... There are people who have anxiety, too. It's like... Just, you know, I always be gentle with Matt. True. And Matt's a very fragile man. Yeah. So that's why I just... Wanted some love and care, and that's why I'm doing it for him. So I always give you love and support, no matter what. You know how you feel and how you, you know, issues that you have in your like anxiety or and stuff. I always love you, no matter what. Yes. I love you so much, Matthew. I love you too. So that's basically the story. Oh, subscribe to Matt once again. I will definitely um, put it in the description as always with his Google Plus. And um, I think again, you know, I think he had like 10 subscribers before, but I think he lost one. But eventually, I think he'll probably get more of them. Yeah, probably one is just being a hater. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, I mean, there are certain, you know, tiny. Um, Flaws about what these people just who didn't like or just a hater. They, don't mind just, the music. Don't mind the music outside. They're shooting fireworks outside. Even if there's like haters around, I think Matt wouldn't mind. They just ignore them, so he wouldn't worry about that too much. There are certain things he's he's fine with that. Yeah, Matt has been not known to sweat the small stuff, even if my viewers are going down. Like I have, like I really make any videos anyway. <laughs> Yes, and the criticisms from, um, Phil admitted he can accept criticism, like, some certain things, but the there's some types of criticism he will not accept is harsh criticism. Usually if they said, you seem so fucking awkward. Yeah. Or if I, or if I, or if I sleep with a copy of My Neighbor Totoro under my pillow every night. Fuck you! Uh, just the just basically people are just it's not even criticism it's just like eh, it's just a negative comment just I get rude comments like that sometimes like I'll drink to that I'll drink to that motherfucker I forgot today is Saturday yep it's Saturday so we just it's the day of the trip and we ha and it's been a while since we um haven't visited each other but um we'll see what happens by next saturday if he's if matt isn't busy um or probably busy uh, so. I, don't think, I don't think i got any anxiety today i just got some rings in my ear yeah i got some rings in my ear yeah that's anyway that's a that's it for um for the story of mass anxiety this is rock music lover 93 signing out and take your power